Hi guys, my name is Kimber from Kimber's Cozy Creations and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Um, today is September 7th, which blows my mind that it's already the first week of September. It's ridiculous. Um, this is going to be my summer sock camp kind of recap video and I know it's a week late. Um, it's been a wild ride over here the past couple weeks uh, between work, dying, all that stuff, and then my MS is flaring a little bit and between meds on that. So it's just every, the timing is terrible right now, but still chugging along, still getting stuff done. Um, so it is a week late, but that's okay. Better late than never, right? Um, we got full hot mess, hot mess express today because it was getting to that point if I didn't sit down and record it now, it's never going to get done. So we're here and if you don't like it, well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later, I guess. But if not, if whatever, um, switched up scenery a little bit. There's our bookshelf because we finally got like chairs. So I'm not sitting on the floor anymore, which is great. Um, so yeah, just a little bit different. I'm sure it'll kind of fine tune itself by the time I get this figured out. I don't know, but we'll go with it. So summer sock camp, for those of you who don't know, was a summer long knit along, sock along, I guess, because crochet socks counted, if I remember correctly, um, hosted by Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady. And it started... May 28th, I think, kind of like that last weekend of May, and went through August 31st. So it was three months of all the socks you could possibly think of. Um, of course, I participated but didn't participate. I knit all the socks, I just never did anything with it beyond knitting them. So I never like submitted them or um, any of that stuff, and that's okay. Um, I also had a week or a market on Sunday and my face is so burnt. It's like peeling and it's gross. Anyways, um, so since the last time I recorded a video, it is now, what, three, four weeks ago? Um, I finished one pair of socks and made decent progress on two other pairs. And I haven't knit on these since the 31st so it's been a week since I've like even really picked them up because I wanted it to be a true like a genuine summer sock camp recap so yeah we'll get there um so this is the first pair that I finished get my handy dandy sock blockers out without dropping them um it is made with inked sheep fibers yarn it was a sock or yarn club colorway from I think like summer of 2019 so can't get it anymore and she actually is not dying yarn anymore either which is sad but this has been one that's obviously been in my stash for forever um finally got around to knitting with it finished them and it's these bright neon ones blowing out just a little bit lighting's pretty good over here I'm I'm pleased with this this is where I was last time I recorded um, my nails are a mess don't mind them um, last time I recorded we I was right here on both of them I did two at a time um, these ones I actually ended up doing afterthought heels which was the first time I've done afterthought heels um, let's see if it'll it's or you can kind of see it a little bit better. That's kind of true to color right there. It's super bright neon. But complete afterthought heels. Oh, that was that was that was a ride, I guess you want to say. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but still the fact of like cutting your knitting is overwhelming a little bit. It's not terrible. Like I said, it wasn't bad. Once I did the first one, I was like, oh, this is easy. Why did I? put this off for so long type of thing um so yeah so that's another pair done and I am 95% sure this would be pair 10 maybe 11 I don't remember we're gonna go through them all 
in a little bit. So we'll know then. But I want to say it's 11. Um, so there's that. So that's the one, my last finished pair for summer sock camp. Um, and by finished, I mean they're done, but I still have all the ends to weave. And I think only, this is going to be bad. I think only one pair that I've done, two maybe. Two pairs that I've done all of summer sock camp actually are like wearable, have the ends woven in. So I don't know if that technically counts as finished, but we're just counting it because I want to. Um, anyway, so there's that. The next two that I have are ones that I started, obviously during summer sock camp, haven't finished them yet, but now that I got this video done, I'll probably finish them and then whatever. Um, the first one, hmm, which one? We'll start with this one. Uh, this pair I started brand new since the last time we chit chatted. Um, and I'm very excited about them. <sighs> Sorry, I was trying to fix it, put it on the needles better. Are these beauties? So super pink toe, it's like blue, pink, prettiness, pink heel. So this is, the colorway's name is Hot Mess Express. Um, it is one that I dyed up, it is a new colorway, it is not in the shop yet. The sock sets will be in the shop by the time this video is up. So if you like it, you can go get it. <laughs> um, so the blue variegated is Hot Mess Express. And then this bright pink is going to be Welcome to the Knit Show. Because why not? <laughs> um, so I started these toe up two at a time per usual. But we're doing something a little bit different with the heels. I don't know if it's going to show very well on here. Maybe a little bit. But let me see if I can get it to... Let me see if I can put it on a blocker. Should have thought this through, but I didn't. So here we go. Um, but it is a, I don't, I don't know if it has not I'm sure it has a name. I just don't know what it is. Um, I saw it in another sock pattern that I have. Um, I don't remember that sock pattern off the top of my head, but I am changing it up just a little bit because, okay, so you can kind of see it on here. Try not to lose my other sock off the needles. Um, so there is, like starting there to here, is increases on the top of the foot. And then you do your short row heel, so I did a shadow wrap heel. And then you, after that, you decrease back to your regular stitch count. So it's a gusset with a short row heel, but it's not a flegal heel because um, those are a little bit more wonky. Um, yeah, so you increase up top and then do your shot or your short row heel and then decrease to get back to your stitch count. So I don't remember Let's see if it focuses. You can kind of see the increases right there. Um, I don't remember what increases the pattern that I was looking at used, but I prefer to do yarn over increases. So you yarn over, and then next time you come around, you do um, knit through the back loop to, to get the increase, but not have the whole of the yarn over. Um, so I did that for increases. Uh, decreases, I'm just getting ready to start doing the decreases. Probably do knit two together, slip, 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 knit uh, to get both sides. And then in the pattern, the heel was a German short row heel, I think. I like uh, shadow wrap heels, so we're modifying it. I did a try on earlier today. Um, halfway through the heel is kind of hard to tell, but I think it's going to be my new go-to heel because it gives me the extra like room around the ankle without doing the flegal heel, so I can still do that accent heel, which I really like, and. Uh, I think it's easier than a heel flap and gusset just because you don't have to pick up stitches. And I oh, I like how they look better. So that might become my new go-to. I'll finish those and see, wear them a little bit, see how they go. Um, 
So that is newish pattern and then new yarn, which I'm really excited about. I really like it. Um, and then this second sock, I had it started last time we talked, but it was not very far. Um, this is the chevron design one that I'm kind of working on. Um, it, all the yarn is old stash yarn, wasn't labeled. I don't know what, like who dyed it or what colors or anything, unfortunately. Um, but I'm so excited about these. Like, look at them if they focus. Look how good that is. So I was down here last time we talked, so I got the toe done and I think like the two rounds before the color work started. But they're just little, I don't know, I'm very excited about these. Um, so it was just the main color and then five contrast colors. Um, and then I'm back in the main color for the rest of the foot, the heel, and I think I'm going to do, so like these five colors, but do them as just bands of color at the, wow, my yellow's blown out, um, just like stripes of color at the top of the leg before the cuff, but I don't know if I want to add that many extra ends in right now, but we'll see. Um, that's kind of the game plan right now, and I'm thinking of using the new heel that I'm working on in this pattern. But we'll see, I'll finish those first before I get to that on these. Um, see how they wear a little bit, see if I actually like them, and then kind of go from there. So, but I'm so excited with how, so, so pleased. Of course now it's not, there we go. So, so pleased with how the chevron has turned out. Like, there's this light purple down here. It's blending in pretty good with the gray. Um, so, at first I tried doing these Magic Loop, because one at a time Magic Loop, because that's what I like. The color work with the Magic Loop just wasn't working for me. I'm sure it's possible. I just could not get it to work. It was more of a headache than it was worth. Um, so, I switched it to 9-inch circulars. And then when I did the color work, I knit it inside out so that the floats were on the outside instead of bunched up on the inside in hopes that it kept them loose enough that it's not going to be too snug or something. Because my typical issue with color work, you sweaters, cowls, whatever it may be, is that my floats, I end up pulling them too tight so it doesn't stretch enough. And like in a shawl or like a sweater usually isn't that big of a deal. A cowl's usually not that big of a deal. But on socks it doesn't, it is a bigger deal. I guess if that would make sense. So I'm really excited about these. These ones I will write up when I get them done and if I ever have free time in my life again. <laughs> um, but I'm just so incredibly happy with how these turned out. Yeah, I'll write it up and I'll probably end up dyeing a mini set, sock set type of thing, just because, why not? Because I can. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that, for sure. But I'm just so, so pleased with how these turned out. Um, okay, so that's it for whips, I guess. So that's the end of my summer sock camp knitting adventure um i found all of my socks some of them just have one but so i'm gonna go through all of the ones i've knit because i don't even remember half of them i found them but i forgot that they were part of summer sock camp um i'm going to do my best to give you all of the pattern information yarn information that I can remember off the top of my head because I don't have my notebook over here. And frankly, I don't know where it actually is. So we're gonna go with it. And then if there's anything, like I'll probably still put like just a quick like pattern yarn, probably like grams used and yardage used just cause that'll be fun. Um, and I'll try to remember to put them in order even. Let's see if I can do that. And then I'll make notes at the end if I'm out of order. So. First, 
we have, oh my goodness, probably just show you one of each one instead of the whole pair. Um, this journey sock pair, this little rainbow one. This is the very first pair for summer sock camp. There we go. This is the journey sock by Margaret for Heidi and Lana. And I used um, Hobby Lobby yarn bee something or another thing. And I have worn these because you can see the bottom kind of. I mean, they're clean and they're washed. But some of the stitches on the bottom are like stretched out more. I don't know. Okay, full disclosure. I've knit so many pairs of socks, but I'm really bad at like actually wearing them. So now I'm starting to wear them more. So it's probably just a normal wear and tear thing of hand knit socks. But since I don't wear them in that much, like I said, I'm getting better at it. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, so yes, pair one. Got the second one right here. Done. Pair two. I think was these ones. I don't know. We're going to go with it. This is the Picking Wildflowers pattern. I don't remember who designed it. No, Wildflower Seeds pattern. Still don't remember who designed it. By the in the yarn is the Picking Wildflowers Share a Pair set from Mandy's Making. So it's these guys. Boop -boo -boo. Pretty sure I did these guys one at a time. I know I did these one at a time. Does not want to focus on that texture. What if I thought there you go. Know. You can kind of see the texture on it. Uh, it's blowing out just enough that it's hard to see. But they were cuffed down. Heel flap and gusset. Toesies. Yes, these ones I know I did one at a time because I messed up on the... This had four repeats. This one I only did two. Because... Or two repeats. This one I only did one. But pair of socks. Done. And then... I think the next one was these ones. If not, it's going to be close enough. Um, so these ones are dirty. I wore them the other day. So I just have one of them. They're kind of stretched out and a little dirty, so we're going to make it quick. But these are the, the self-striping. See, they're so loose on here right now. Um, lollipop yarns in her mood colorway. So self-striping, prettiness. I said the other one's in the dirty laundry, but next. So that's three, four, I think it was these ones. I don't know, we're just, we're abandoning all order at this point. Um, these are the boyfriend socks. That's what I'm just calling them because they're, were supposed to be for me and they ended up being for him and that's okay. Um, these ginormous things. There's the end of my blockers like right there. Like the whole toe is just hanging out. Um, this yarn, this is a pattern. It's just uh, vanilla socks toe up. I did the flegal heel. Um, forgot how much the gusset of the flegal heel added. So they ended up being his socks, which is fine. Um, this is West Yorkshire Spinners Club in the peacock colorway. These ones are fun. I did these on nine inch circulars. And then we got a second one. So we got a pair. Next, we have another pair of Journey socks. Um, these ones, again, Journey socks, Margaret of for Heidi and Lana. And then these were made out of the scraps that I had of the Picking Wildflower set from Andy's Makings. 
And then this is the one where I did, the other one is the opposite. So, another pair of journey socks. Done. Then we got, um, I knit a pair of beach ball socks um, at one of my markets this summer. Ended up knitting the whole pair in a weekend, which was pretty cool. Uh, Ta-da! So again, just basic vanilla toe up. This I did one at a time on Magic Loop. The yarn is from Kimber's Cozy Creations. It is the beach ball colorway. It is still up in my shop if you're if you're craving it, wanting it. So that's it. I don't know where the other sock is right now because I use I used as samples for my markets. I don't know where the other one ended up. Same with this one. I used it as a sample for my market. Don't know where the pair is or the partner. He's flying solo now. Um, so this one is another basic toe up vanilla magic loop in the lily pad colorway from Kimber's Cozy Creations. And this one I did, like Papa colored the toe, did a little band of the contrast at the toe because I thought that'd be fun. Shadow wrap heel, cuff. So again, super basic. Then we got the fun ones. Um, this yarn is from Malia Made It. It is her bright neon neon glow 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 on it is the glow on colorway i got there eventually um i knit these they're super bright um did these one at a time toe up they're vanilla except at the the change rows there is i did a slip one knit one detail and then, so that just kind of keeps it vanilla, but it's fun enough that, I don't know, keeps it interesting. This is, knit these on the whole pair on the way down to Oklahoma when we went in July, whenever we went, I don't remember, um, pretty recently. And probably August then. Anyways, um, so these were really fun to knit in the car. I said they were pretty much vanilla, so it was easy enough, but then the knit one, slip one row at the transition. It was really hard to tell the difference between the green and the yellow in the car, so I just kind of made my best guess and went with it. Um, this one I will be writing up, but more as like a recipe. Uh, one, because every self-striping is different, so it's hard to be like, oh, well, knit three rounds and then your fourth round is this um so it'll probably be like knit until the color change and then slip one knit one around and then when you get back to the beginning you knit all the way around until your next color change i also did it at the toe so you can, i don't know i just thought it was really really fun um shadow wrap heel of, again of course and so the recipe i'll probably write up and then it'll most likely be a free recipe on Ravelry or my website or however I get that out there just because it's super simple more of a suggestion than a pattern pattern I guess um, anyways those are done the next pair that I have here is my only DK pair that I knit this summer all the rest of them were fingering weight um, this one is inked sheep no, sock obsession yarns in the scattered indigo colorway I believe it is these ones so these ones are toe up I did um, let me see if I can put the other one on here to, I guess I could have used the same one oh well um, I did a column of seed stitch up the front of the sock which I thought was really fun. Um, let's see if it'll show up on, now I'm dropping everything. Um, 
Yeah, so it's just a column of seed stitch on the front of the sock. So like here's the toe. It's just the center front of the sock. And then it went all the way up until the cuff. I know it looks weird because of the heel on the blocker. But it went all the way up to the cuff. And then it just went right into the cuff. Um, I am planning on writing this one up. And I will write it for both DK and fingering just because... I feel like a lot more people usually do fingering socks than DK, but I'm excited for these for like, now that it's finally getting cooler out, um, kind of like fall cozy, not quite house socks, but house socks type of thing. So these ones are really fun. They ended up really quick. Um, these I did two at a time, magic loop. I just love the, the colors. Okay, that pair, done. And then I already showed you this one today, but I'll show you again. Um, this is Ink Sheep Fibers uh, Mystery Club Colorway. I think it had a name at one point. I just don't remember what it was or have the label for it. These ones, two at a time, toe up, afterthought heels on Magic Loop. So, yay. And then I have one more pair um that I knit while we were in Oklahoma for my aunt's birthday so I don't have those with me but I will put a picture here and like all the information and those were out of my so Kimber's Cozy Creations Lagoon colorway um I believe I just did the pop of color at the toe and then the rest was in Lagoon and then did those two at a time magic loop toe up I think that's it yeah so that's this number of pairs I didn't keep track I didn't count in my head as we were going I don't feel like picking them up all off the floor to count them again anyways so this number of pairs this many um but yeah I think that's it for summer sock camp now um Kay might still have some summer sock camp yarn in her store on sale I will put a link to her store in the description, and if it's still there, cool, grab some. If not, sorry, because I know at one point, last I looked or heard, she had some, but I haven't checked recently, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that's it for Summer Sock Camp. I will be trying to do kind of more podcast updates, which will be more general, not just, obviously not just socks, because I do more than just socks. Um, but it'll be kind of finished objects, whips, what's going on with KCC, and then life type of stuff. So I'm hoping to start that next week, so a week from now. Um, we'll see. I am cheating. Yeah. I'm switching my meds next week. So I don't know how that's going to affect me yet because it's a new-to-me medication. So I don't know if it's going to knock me on my ass or if I'm going to be able to power through it. So we'll see from there. We'll, we'll figure it out. Like I said, if you ever want to stay up to date on videos here, best option is to subscribe and hit the bell notification ta-da thing. Um, cause half the time I don't even know when I'm going to be doing videos. Like today I wasn't planning on doing it, obviously. Um, but it just happened because it needed to happen. So, yeah, that's the best way to keep tabs on me is notifications and or follow me on Instagram. And that'll all be linked below. But, yeah, that wraps it up for Summer Sock Camp 2022. So, hope you guys had fun. Let me, if you guys did Summer Sock Camp, let me know down below how many pairs you ended up completing. And or if you still have some, like, lingering whips from it. So I'm always intrigued. Like, I didn't think I was going to make it through that many. Like, I know I kind of, like, obviously set out to knit that many socks. But I've knit way more socks this year than I have ever, I think. Not even just summer sock camp, but even from the new year to now. It's been crazy. Um, but yeah, so I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, let me know. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.